Hey guys, welcome Midlife Shredders. Thanks for checking out the channel, checking out this new video. If you're, this is your first time checking out any of my videos, I'm Bobby, this is MTB Over 40. This is all about a journey, getting started in your midlife, getting on a bike, staying on a bike, staying healthy, safe, and shredding as much as you can. Trying to learn, trying to get better, having new experiences with new people, experiencing new trails as much as I can. I mean, it, that's all it is, just the journey. So welcome aboard. Thanks for following along. Today, this video is all about endurance. So most of you know, I if you've been following this channel, following me on Instagram, you know that I've been on an e-bike lately. I've been loving it. It's amazing. Does riding the e-bike lessen your endurance? Okay, that, that's a question a lot of people wanna know. And every time I've gotten on my regular bike, I haven't felt any difference. In fact, I've felt even better. But I wanted to see in the, the, the middle of summer, can I hit a trail that I used to ride, do the full thing, and what would that do? How would I feel? Did I lose any of my power? Did I lose any strength, endurance, you know, any of that stuff? So that's what this video is about. So I went to Jones Mill Trail. You've probably seen me on this trail before. It's, there's nothing special. It's an all mountain trail. It's got some techie areas. It's a good ride. It's about nine miles. It's a good test of you know climbing abilities and some tech and riding over rock and all that stuff. It's a good workout. It is definitely a good workout. So I thought this would be a good place to try this question out. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So nice to have a lighter bike. All right, here we go. Let's see how this feels. I already know that it's definitely not gonna be as fast. I'm prepared for. It's pretty warm. It's, uh, you know, we're still in the middle of summer. One positive thing I saw is that there's other people in the parking lot. So hopefully that means that some cobwebs are cleared. I've just got to get used to the slower speed. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on LaSalle. Had to do some service on it having problems with my dropper and then sticking and I think I learned I was using too thick of grease. That's resolved, it's working good now, but I need to really give it a bit. Really make sure it's all good. Also, this being my enduro bike, the LaSalle, the Zara LaSalle, uh, my bottom bracket is a little bit lower than any bike, so definitely got to watch out for pedal strikes. And Ooh. Ooh. I've mainly been using this bike for my bike park uh, rides and rides with my son. You know, I think the last major ride I did with this was with uh, Jared's Place Bike Park. So far, so good. Not trying to match my speed or anything I know that's not going to be possible so just find a comfortable gear just uh yeah enjoy the ride Ooh. Ooh. done it 
<laughs> it's been a while I've done this on the regular bike. But yeah, not bad. Yeah, I'm only about two miles in. So, but not bad. After two miles, I, I feel pretty good. So, I guess that's something. Not dying. It's gonna be hard to com compare my time because I haven't ridden Jones on the regular bike in a while. And especially in the summer. I mean, last summer, it's probably the last time I rode it. But I know my endurance has grown since then. We're gonna slow gradual climb here. So I'm just gonna lower it down and relax, pedal up. It doesn't look like a climb, but like I said, it's just a slow gradual. Feeling pretty good actually, you know, no complaints. Uh, you know, it's, it's hot, I'm sweaty, but I mean, that's, that's part of it. I mean, that's what we're, that's what you do in the summer, you sweat. But uh, I feel good, I feel good. I don't feel any more gassed than usual. Um, in fact, I, I feel better the last time I actually did this trail, so. Ooh, Ooh. that was a pedal strike. <laughs> If you're a recent subscriber and you've only been seeing me on my e-bike, my Fazari Wire Peak, I do know I did have two other bikes, analog bikes before that. I still have one of them, my LaSalle Peak. If you want to check out that build, just click the video up on this side, I think. <laughs> strike if there's anything that tuckers me out faster than anything else it's it's climbing it's not my favorite at all wish it was it's not it's uh it's just pure torture in my eyes. <laughs> Not bad. Climb used to kill me. I think my endurance is fine. I think it's just, I mean, my legs feel good. Everything feels good, but I'm just getting winded, which is probably because of the heat. So I'm having to stop a little bit more. At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself. <laughs> but no, I, I seriously, like my legs feel good. They're not crazy burning or anything like that. I just, just really winded. So I just need to take a couple more breaks because of the heat and uh, yeah, keep going. So. so we've done almost six miles. Average speed's not bad, 6.8. Not too bad. Yep. Yep. Yo. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Oh. Yep. 
game on the belt. Yep. Wasn't bad. Got one more. Definitely takes a lot more out of you. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha Just remembered. I got a goo. Oh yeah, this is gonna feel good. See how that does. I'm telling you. I'll say hi to the camera. Check my Strava. I, you know, didn't didn't do any personal records or anything like that. So, uh, got second and third fast times on a couple of things. But, but overall, yeah, I think it's just the heat. The heat was most of it, I think. Uh, but stamina wise, my legs felt good. Didn't cramp up. Didn't do anything like that. And just felt good. I think overall, I don't. My opinion is, I don't think the e-bike has has lessened my my stamina, lessened my workout or anything like that. I mean, I rode nine miles, so I mean, you know, uh, in this heat, that's, you know, that's quite a bit here in the Southeast. So did, does an e-bike lessen your physicality? I don't think so. All right, so there you have it. There's the video, hope you enjoyed it. If this is your first time to the channel, if you like this type of content, please give a like and a subscribe. I will greatly appreciate it. We got lots more content coming up, lots more stuff that I'm gonna be doing and I wanna bring you along on this journey. And one other thing, I, the channel's been growing. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all the subscribers and everything, but I would love for you to help me out a little bit. There's some links in the description. If you like anything of what I use or what I, on the rides, my camera gear or anything like that, or you're thinking about purchasing things that are similar to that, please use those links in the description for any of that stuff because that helps me out. Those are affiliate links. I do get a commission from those. And anything that you buy, I get a little percentage of. All that helps me out with the channel. It goes to gas, it goes to uh, bike maintenance, all that, all the money's earned from this channel goes back into the bike and back into what I'm doing here. So I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much. Until the next time, live, learn, and send it. It is never too late to start. We'll see you guys next time.